This is our bacteria overview figure. In this video, we'll be discussing Listeria monocytogenes, which you can see right here. This scene will take place in an old western town with a duel between two gunslingers. The first character is this guy with a monocle. Monocle sounds kind of like monocytogenes, so we're using it in this image as a symbol for Listeria monocytogenes. Just like in our other gram-positive videos, we've included a lot of purple colors to this image, as you can probably tell from the prominent purple sky. This is to help you remember that Listeria is a gram-positive organism. Also notice that the guy has a gun in one hand and a bat or a rod in the other. This is to help you remember that Listeria is a bacillus, so it's shaped like a rod. This is a gram stain of gram-positive rods, which is the morphology of Listeria. So the organism stains purple under the microscope, and if you look closely, you can see that it's shaped like a rod. So Listeria is a gram-positive bacillus. Okay, now let's discuss the river in the background. For most of our videos, we'll use a bay to represent beta hemolysis because these sound so similar. However, Listeria is unique because it exhibits a very narrow zone of beta hemolysis when grown on blood agar. Therefore, we've shown a narrow river coming down between two hills and then collecting into this little mini bay area. So narrow river or bay for narrow zone of beta hemolysis. This is a figure of the three types of hemolysis. Because this is the first time we've talked about hemolysis, I'll cover it in a bit more detail now. Blood agar is a type of growth media that usually contains about 5% sheep blood and is non-selective. This just means that a lot of different types of bacteria can grow in this agar. However, the type of pattern seen on the plate will vary depending on which organism is grown. Notice in the image that there are three different types of patterns. There's an alpha, beta, and gamma pattern. Each of these represents a type of hemolysis. The pattern of hemolysis can be helpful in distinguishing different organisms. So in the middle, we can see the symbol beta right here. Beta hemolytic organisms produce a zone of hemolysis around their colonies when plated on this agar. So notice that there is a complete zone of white around the beta symbol right here. This is because these organisms hemolyze all of the red blood cells around them. On the right side of the plate, we can see the symbol gamma right here. Gamma hemolysis is a little deceptive because these bacteria actually don't hemolyze the red blood cells at all. That's why there's no clearing seen around these colonies. Finally, on the left side of the petri dish, we can see the symbol alpha right here. Alpha hemolytic organisms produce a small zone of hemolysis around their colonies when plated on this agar. So it's kind of like an intermediate type of hemolysis, somewhere in between beta and gamma hemolysis. It's important to know that alpha hemolysis produces a greening reaction on the plate. As you can see on the plate, the alpha sign is the one that looks the most green. So again, listeria exhibits a narrow zone of beta hemolysis. So the surrounding area of clearing will not be quite as prominent as what is seen in this image. 